so in data analysis we have four modules we have excel then we have python then we have sql and then we have polya right so excel will take 3 weeks 3 to 4 weeks right 3 to 4 weeks right actually uh, excel is consists of only 2 weeks but actually admissions are going on in the starting and we have to match our frequency also so that is why we are taking uh, some uh, short sessions right in the starting and uh, we have to match each other frequency also so that is why it takes little last time right so in 3 to 4 weeks and it also depends on your speed also right because i have to match your speed i will not take you on my speed right because uh, if i go with my speed so any student can have the problem right so uh, we are uh, sir you are going fast or something like that so definitely you can uh, any time if you are feeling that i am going fast or i am uh, you are not un unable to understand any concept you can tell me any time right so 3 to 4 weeks we take for the excel then for the python it will take around 1.5 months right right or you can say 6 weeks right then sql maximum 2 weeks then power bi maximum 2 weeks right excel is your tool right that is what you have to use how we are using to uh, as a, uh, any tool so that is not the difficult part excel power bi are very simple right you need practice for that i know you have a phobia of power bi everyone is talking about power bi learn power bi and you will get the job you will get the 14 lakhs package 16 lakhs package right so yeah that is the thing that is going on the market but you have to be expert and you need that kind of practice right if you want to be expert in power bi because excel and power bi is just a tool you are not writing any codes you are not doing anything you have to learn how you have to perform any task using that tool getting a point and it's not that today you are learning power bi and forever you will be sustained in the market because every time there is an updation right you know about the uh, tableau also right so tableau is the previous version of this uh, power bi right so it has some some lacking points and something uh, restrictions are there so some limitations are there so that is why power bi is come in the market and capture all the market right but now some updations are still awaiting and i think in 26 we are uh, having another tool also for the uh, visualization and the data analysis right so you have to be keep updating yourself in the data analysis it's not that you have learned something and you will able to sustain for every, uh, for throughout the life in data analysis getting a point right so what is the purpose of training is what to make you understandable about the data right and how the workflow is going on in the your industry how you have to take the data how you are uh, taking for uh, going for the uh, your pre processing for the data and how you are going for the visualization how you are taking out the insights of from the data right that is the main purpose uh, purpose right tool is what suppose you are going to work in a company right they are not using the power bi which we are using because we are using the free version right and companies are using the the we are paid version that customized version so that can be changed something will be changed right from your uh, view that uh, what we have done so sql is also thing that we have uh, that it is a query language that pulling and we will do in the mysql dbms right and it can be possible that you are not using mysql in your company getting a point so don't think about that whatever you are learning here that will directly apply you can apply in your corporate life right you have you have to build your thinking process right if you are getting anything how you have to think right the main thing is what 
the data, you, how you are understanding the data, how you have to perform, that will be the work of the tools, right? And that you can understand easily, you have your notes with you long, for a long, uh, uh, for your throughout a life, right? What will you create in the three months? Getting a point everyone? So the big thing is that you have to understand each and every concept, how we are doing this, right? For the data analysis prospect, right? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we can do this, right? So, I am not written this in the uh, in the uh, that sequence. Excel definitely we are going first. Why? Because we are having some admissions, right? And we are in the process of the admissions. So, if anyone is uh, 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 um, uh, not getting any uh, taking any classes or uh, he taking admission late, so he cannot uh, that. Uh, get any loss right in the their training part so because excel is the uh, simpler one right so that is why i take excel first and according to your suggestion which topic you want right majority if you say that so take power wave first take sql first take python first i will take according to that don't worry it will i will take suggestion from you definitely after the excel okay okay now come to the the this is the first thing that the basic thing the very simple that excel and power bi will uh, which you will face right after that little uh, i can say little harder or not i will not say any harder word right little technical right will be your sql right it is because it is a query language right you and you need to understand how you have to take the query suppose i want something from you so what i will say give me something right give me that thing give me that thing so that is my language so computer works in a different language right from the database so it is a database query language so something is uh, saved in the database and you have to grab it again so i i have seen lots of videos and lots of uh, faculties are saying that okay this is also the part of the data analysis and let me make you clear this is not the part of the data analysis this is the part of the business analysis right so when you have when you want something from the database so database everyone know what is the database everyone know what is database sorry the collection of data okay so uh, what do you say uh, Excel is also your database. Excel is your database. Yeah, we can store yeah. data. Yeah, yeah, we can say that. But when we talk about the database, right? So we will talk about those database which are very secured, which is stored permanently somewhere, and which is very secured, and no one can access uh, other than you. Getting my point? Uh, can you mute? Okay. So getting my point. So database usually everywhere you where you are storing your data that is called database. Yes, that I completely understand and I completely agree with you. But whenever anyone is asking about the database, so remember that they, he is asking about the authentic database which is saved somewhere from uh, that is you cannot access without any uh, your credentials right you must have your credentials to access that data and there is a query language to access that data getting a point because excel is what excel uh, i completely understand okay you have stored some data but you, anyone can delete that data from your uh, that your uh, desktop or your from mobile or from your somewhere where you have stored right even you have given that some uh, that security also that so you have created some password also because he cannot open that data but he can delete that data getting a point so that is not the permanently stored data yes excuse me yes yes so sql has a sql has a yes yes we have the database managed services different services we have and we will learn in the is SQL is a, uh, actually is a language, right? Structure query language, right? So through this language, we will interact with the different databases, right? Database can be. Yes, definitely, definitely. We have the Google Cloud storage places, which are all yes. We can, we can. Uh, in the server. 
Uh, I'm not getting your point. What you're saying? Excel in the uh, in the form of the Excel you're saying? Yeah. See, actually. Uh, uh, see, uh, structured means this you are uh, putting any values in the form of the rows and the columns, right? And what you find in the Excel that rows and columns, right? But if you uh, ask me that, okay, the structure of database is kind of uh, similar to Excel, but I am not agree with it because I haven't seen that the structure of that database, right? Because we have multiple layers in the database, right? When you, uh, because when you deal with the database, you have to create the data also. You can directly store the data also, but you can create that data also, right? It can be in any format, right? So when you deal with, you create the data in the database, you structure, uh, you create the uh, structure also of the database. Suppose you want the different columns, different rows. So you will get, uh, do the, this ar architecture also, right? So I cannot say that, okay, the structure of database is similar to Excel, but yes, the structured data is all about these rows and columns and, and Excel also we will deal with X, uh, rows and columns only. Is given in the fast type of data that is stored in the SQL. SQL, see, difference between if I ask you ask me that okay, what is the difference between the database and the C, uh, SQL? Oh, sorry, uh, your Excel. So, Excel, so in see, uh, in database, we have permanently stored things, right? And these are uh, very secured, no one can access your data, but in Excel, everyone can access your data who has credentials of your laptop or if any, if your laptop is open, anyone can access that data, right? So that is very secured. No one, if your uh, laptop is, some, uh, uh, think about it, if it is crashed or your uh, your hard disk is crashed, right? So your data will be lost. It is not stored somewhere. So cloud is the best storage place that is always uh, available for you, right? With your credentials and you can store there. Getting a point? Yeah. Yeah. So structured query language is also kind of very simple. And I'm not saying that it is a help, but it is little uh, uh, more uh, level up from the Excel in the Power BI.